So, we're well, back around the original release of Police Knox on the PC-98, which is what you can see here. It has always been a little bit difficult to emulate. One feature specifically that has never really worked right is the game has a feature where a character's mounds are supposed to move when they speak. Uh, like you can see here with Meryl and Dave. Uh, I've never been able to get that to work right. But the newest release of the NP2 FM Gen emulator for PC-98, released earlier in 2020, uh, now supports this feature. So let's have a look at setting it up. Uh, the first thing you need is the emulator itself. Uh, I believe this is the official site. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, we want this file here, as you can see, released in 2020. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, unzip that. Extract uh, it here. Okay, and we're good to go. This doesn't need to be installed, you can just run it as is. Um, we're also going to need a copy of the game. Uh, for this, you need a few different files. If you're not familiar with uh, the game, came on a CD which has the audio. Uh, and similar to data, uh, and a floppy uh, with the game itself. Uh, you needed to run the floppy on an MS-DOS machine, and then there's an installer that copies the game onto a bootable uh, floppy disk. Uh, you can do all that on an emulator, and I have, but it's a real pain. So you'll really just want to get a pre-installed floppy uh, like this. The important part for us is that the floppy uses a particular audio video driver. Um, the particular file I found that works is this one, uh, that is 48,048 bytes, and was edited December 7th, 1994. Uh, incidentally, if you use this uh, Disk Explorer tool, uh, which I'll also link in the description, I'll just quickly show here. Um, you can use this to look inside a floppy disk image um, to see what files are inside. So like if I drag this onto here, it's an Annex 86 floppy disk. We can see it contains this um, AVS drive.sys file. Uh, also these um, like SVO files are actually like save files. So you can actually use this uh, tool as well to like copy a, uh, a save file. Uh, to and from different installs of the game. Anyway, so if you have all that, let's configure the emulator. Uh, you want mp21nt.exe. Uh, first step is to configure the emulator. Uh, open the sound menu, change the sound from 86 PCM general to 86 PCM AVS drive. Uh, this is the new feature that lets the whole thing work, so definitely important. While we're here, let's turn off the seek sound. This basically just like adds some um, like emulated floppy disk drive sounds, which is not great. Uh, we also need more RAM for police knots. Uh, I, I always just go with 7.6. Uh, then the most complicated thing is we also need to change the GTC clock uh, to 2.5 megahertz. So to do that you hold the end key on your keyboard and hit the reset button. It should bring you here. Uh, you basically you use the arrow keys and, and enter to go down here, change this to 2.5, save, exit. Now we can finally uh, start loading the game. To do that we Insert the floppy disk into um, you know, slot one. We mount the CD into IDE, um, IDE port two. Uh, I'm using this Q file. Uh, and we set. So as it's a bootable floppy, it will basically like boot the whole system and begin running the game. Uh, 
Uh, so at this point, you basically just kind of play the game. <laughs> You can press the F12 key, which like locks the mouse inside the, w the window, which you will definitely want. Uh, I'm going to load up a save here. Uh, this is like the beginning of Act 1, when Jonathan meets Ed at BCP for the first time. Uh, it's going to be a good point because there is some animation. Uh, so let's move to the junk room and go meet Ed. So, as you can see there, uh, the, the cop at the desk, his mouth moves. And then yeah, uh, we're going to skip ahead a bit to when uh, Jonathan wakes up Ed and they have a conversation. Yeah, and if we uh, skip ahead, as you see, it looks great here, and uh, so are Meryl and Dave a little bit later on, like you saw at the beginning. Cool, so hopefully that was helpful to someone out there, and thank you for watching.